Good morning, everyone, from Istanbul, Turkey, where we are surrounded by beautiful mosques in this amazing city. We actually got here yesterday. We had a 10 hour flight from Washington, D.C. to here. So we were a bit jet lagged yesterday. We were going to vlog, but we were all too tired and out of it. So we just walked around, had a look at the city, had some snacks and street food, had some dinner at a Turkish restaurant, and then we really crashed for the night. Today we have a flight to catch to Bangkok at 4.50 p.m. So we are going to make the most of this morning. We are going to go in some mosques, visit the Grand Bazaar, and try to do as much as we can before we have to head to the airport. You don't know, I can show you how you can cover Turkish style. Oh, okay. <laughs> It'll be Turkish. Okay, thank you. Like that? You want to make it this side? Uh -huh. Like that? You can leave it. The right side. Okay. Then you do like that. Then like that. Second one. Like that. And here. And turn, please. Yeah. Good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So we are currently inside of the Blue Mosque. It is massive and the detail is insane. I don't know how long it took them to paint all this and put all the designs on the ceiling, but it's pretty incredible to see. Rihanna and I have actually been in here before about 10 years ago. Really cool to see it again. I'm glad Tiana's been able to see it even though she's a little bit sleepy. And I actually know that it was built in 1606. So it's pretty old. Do you remember what this place is? Yes. What's it called? Um. A mosque? Mosque, like a kilo. Yes, and I have to cover my hair because it's part of the Muslim religion. Some people like to cover their hair, and the mosque is where they come worship. Yeah. Yeah, do you remember? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> It's really windy, so I don't know if you can hear me, but over here is the Blue Mosque, and then over on this side, right across the way, is Sophia Hagia. Hagia, I'm not positive how you say it, but they're really close to each other, which is nice. We just went in the Blue Mosque, and we are gonna try to go in here, but first we're gonna go to the Grand Bazaar because we are on a time limit, so we wanna make sure we at least get one mosque in the Grand Bazaar, but hopefully we have time to come back and go in the other mosque. Where are we going? Grand Bazaar! You think there's going to be toys there? Yes. Uh-huh, I figured. You think you're going to get a toy? Yes, yes. Why? Because it's your birthday week? Yes. Girl, what are you going to do with all these toys? We're going to have to leave some luggage behind to bring the toys back. Oh, that's funny to you? Yes. I don't think it's very funny. I don't think it's very funny at all. Because of the jet lag, her mood is changing every five seconds. She's a little bit tired, a little bit grumpy, a little bit happy. So we actually woke up extra early this morning to try to beat the crowds. There's still a little bit of a crowd. So I looked it up this morning. West Virginia, where we're from, has 1.8 million people in the entire state. Istanbul city alone has almost 16 million people. So eight times the amount of people in just this city. Yesterday, it was really, really crowded. It's already starting to grow a little bit. I'm hoping to get in and out of the Grand Bazaar before it gets too busy. We'll see. <laughs> Did you give it a boop? Yes. <laughs> Tiana got a little gift. Look, what does an evil eye do? I don't know. It protects you. I get lost? If you get lost or if you get scared or anything like that. 
Okay, so we're obviously inside of the Grand Bazaar, and you can see why they call it that. Um, this is a Monday morning, keep in mind, okay? Not a Saturday or Sunday, and it's already this busy. I can only imagine on a Saturday. In fact, I think we were here last time on a weekend, and it was insane, it was shoulder to shoulder. But anyway, it's really cool, full of stuff. Like if you're a shopper, this is the place for you. Endless jewelry stores, endless purse and shoe stores. It's just never ending. But uh, what we can find is toys for baby girls. So we're striking out on that, but we're still on the search. All right, so we have still not found a toy store, but baby girl did find candy, which is the next best thing. We did it! We found toys! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> She's happy. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to me! Okay, kitty! Alright, baby girl finally chose a toy. It's not the cat, it's the toy car. You wanna show them how the car works, baby? Oh, yeah. Alright, you ready? Go! Oh, wow! That's really cool. <laughs> I think the cat likes it. <laughs> I like it. Whoa. Oh, you drove it into the restaurant. Ma'am, do you have a license for that thing? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, you do. I show them as well, go with it. So I <laughs> She's dangerous with this thing. See, I told you, so? you did tell us. All right, so we made it out of the Grand Bazaar. We oh. finally found Baby Girl a toy, so great success there. But Rihanna and I can barely hold our eyes open. Pretty jet lag. So where do you think we're heading next? See if you can guess it. You guessed it. I know we should be drinking Turkish coffee because we're in Turkey, but we like our coffee really sweet and milky and not tasting like coffee. Yeah, so. typical American. Yeah. <laughs> this might be the best toy purchase to date. She's having a blast with this thing. You love it, baby? Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Do you want to taste it? All right, so we kind of lost track of time a little bit while we were drinking our coffee, and now we got to figure out our way back to our hotel room because the weather's changing fast and our flight soon. What are you talking about? Are you talking in cat language? Uh, so, guys, we're fully aware of how chaotic this vlog is. You want to touch the doggy? Sleeping. What about this one? This one's awake. Okay. What There's dogs one? everywhere and cats. Okay. What I was trying to say before chaos happened again is we're fully aware of how chaotic this vlog is. We had no real plans for it. Really short layover, but hope you guys are enjoying the madness. Marhaba. <laughs> We just got back to the hotel. I sent John and Tiana in to start packing because we have to head to the airport But I wanted to tell you where we're staying. So we are staying at the Arden City Hotel It's right here and we chose it because it's only hundred dollars a night and it's like right in the middle of the city So both mosques are behind me and then we are also within 10 minutes walking from the Grand Bazaar Those are the places you wanted to go. So it was the perfect location and it's really nice It's a traditional Turkish style hotel breakfast included and we've had a good time here so far so I do recommend it. I'll link it below. So some of the more perfect YouTube channels might not show you guys this, but this is our room right now. It is a complete disaster. What is going on back there? Babe, we're supposed to be packing and you're eating baklava. Hmm. Oh God. Is it good? Can mm -hmm. I have one? We need to have all this packed up and ready to go in 10 minutes. Okay, we got it. Tiana, are you gonna help? Or just watch your iPad? I think that means just watch your iPad. Perfect.
Bye bye. Thank you. All right, so we just grabbed a cab to the airport. We got about a one hour drive, but we're actually a little excited to get to the airport this time because we actually have lounge access, which we've never had before while traveling. Well, we're hoping we have lounge access. Yeah, okay. So let's not get too excited, but if we do get it, we'll show it to you guys. Thank you, sir. There you go. Let me hold you. You're a little bit tired, baby. We made it to the airport. We just need to check in because they weren't able to do it online like we normally do. And we also need to get through security. But this airport's weird because- security before the security. Yeah, there's security before we even get to the ticket counter and then get to security, so. Extra safe. Yeah, I feel really safe here. Super thankful right now that we only have carry-ons because look at that check bag line. Telling you guys, carry-ons only is a travel hack. Got our boarding passes, now it's time for security. We've never seen this before, but Istanbul has a family lane for security for kids five and under. So we get to go through here and skip the entire security line and go through this like fast one, which is awesome. Between no check bags and the family lane, I think we got to the airport too early. <laughs> Good job. Wow, baby. Good job. So it worked. I was a little worried our card wouldn't get us into Priority Pass, but it did because we've never tried it before, and we're excited. All right, we're going to show you guys the lounge in a minute, but we have a surprise for Tiana first. There. Maybe. Go see. You love it? Good, baby. This lounge is really nice. You get a view of the whole airport and it beats sitting out there at the terminal waiting for the planes. So they have food included in here, a nice buffet. Then they have showers, a bar, a seating area, and also the kids room like you saw. So we're gonna hang out, get something to eat, and just enjoy it. John and I have been traveling for 15 years, I believe, and we have never had lounge access before, but we got a new credit card that gives you priority pass, and that gives you access to all these lounges. So we're basically getting in here for free, and I can't believe we didn't do it sooner. Rihanna didn't even tell you guys the best part. They have unlimited Red Bull and snacks. Baby girl, look what I got you. You love it? Watch this. Well, you were really excited about it. Now you're not sure. <laughs> it's a cookie. You wanna try it? Okay. Unfortunately, our time in the lounge is over, but it was incredible. I highly suggest you get lounge access if you can. I used to think it was only like for celebrities or the super rich, but apparently all you need is the right credit card and you can get in. You ready to race? Set, go. <laughs> I'm gonna get to the end. I'm gonna get to the end. No. Did you win? Yes. You tired now? Yes. <laughs> We've made it to our gate. We're getting ready to get on another 10 hour flight. I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for this. This time we are headed to Bangkok. Rihanna has actually taken Tiana somewhere to find Pringles because they come in clutch on these long flights. But we'll catch up with you guys either on the flight or when we land. We'll see you in a little bit. We were hoping to find an empty row, but unfortunately it's a full flight. 10 more hours and then we'll be in Bangkok and then one hour flight to Chiang Mai and then we'll be settled for like three days. We made it. All right, good news guys, we landed in Bangkok. Bad news is Rihanna thinks we're at the wrong airport. I booked our transfer flight to Chiang Mai from the wrong airport. We are at BKK and the flight is from DMK, which is anywhere from 40 minutes to two and a half hours away. Um, and we can make it if it's 40 minutes. We can't make it if it's two and a half hours. So we're gonna go try and find a desk and see if we can take a flight from here. Long story short, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> We made it to the taxi. It's 
56 minutes to the next airport um, and our flight is at 8 a.m. and our phone says we'll get there at 7.23 a.m. So do you think we're gonna make it? Yeah, to give you guys an update, it's 6.30 a.m. here. So we're now 11 hours ahead of back home. And uh, thanks, Rihanna, for always keeping things interesting. <laughs> keeping it interesting for everyone. Tiana's unbothered, she's having a great time. How's your coloring? She's just coloring away. So I'm really hoping that we make this flight and we can get to Chiang Mai by like 9 a.m. If not, I don't know, we'll have to update you guys. If not... Do you think we're gonna make it? I guess we'll just have to spend a day or a night in Bangkok. No, we'll just get on another flight. Oh yeah, later flight? Yeah. yeah. I'm used to it now with you, but... <laughs> Thank you, sir. Go, go, go. <laughs> and of course, it has to be the very last gate, number 36. We did all that running, and they haven't even started boarding yet. <laughs> Tiana's having a standoff with the electric cleaner. <laughs> did it almost get you? <laughs> Guys, sorry about the audio and the uh, video quality, this has been chaos. We are on the plane. We have officially made it. How do you feel? I feel like that too, if we're being honest. <laughs> we feel good. Good? Good? Where are you going? Do you remember? Right here. You're going, You're going there? <laughs> apple juice? Wow, is there apple juice in Chiang Mai? <laughs> Is it the Chiang Mai dance? <laughs> that's called delirium because we only slept in two hours. Oh yeah, that's the GoPro. I was going to make a video. <laughs> See you guys later. As you can see, we finally made it to Chiang Mai after a crazy, crazy travel day. We checked in, the girls went right to sleep. They're actually still asleep right now. As for me, I actually went and got a two hour Thai massage, which was incredible. I only remember about an hour of it because I actually fell asleep. And it was only 550 baht, which is like $15 US, an incredible deal. But we're all checked into this awesome Airbnb. We cannot wait to show you guys this on the Chiang Mai vlog. Check out that infinity pool in that view. But I think we're gonna wrap up the Istanbul slash hectic travel day vlog right here. If you guys love seeing this type of content and watching travel vlogs, please subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all the support. The next vlog will actually be Chiang Mai. And then one after that will actually be an elephant sanctuary and even more to come on this three week adventure through Southeast Asia and Istanbul. Guys, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching the videos and we'll see you on the next one. What? <laughs>